Hello everyone and good morning all of you. This is Ashima Shukla, your current affairs and banking awareness faculty on Entry Platform. And in this session, we are going to talk about all the major news events that have taken place in the past days. The discussion is going to involve all the major news events that have happened and are exam important from examination point of view. Whereas for those who want to practice questions, for them we have a free live quiz which will be available on Entry app for which the link has been provided in the description section below. Now starting on the discussion of news events, the first news event is the Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla Ji launched the official mobile application of the parliament called Digital Sansad App which will allow citizens to access live proceedings of the house which includes the union budget that is for 2022. So from the union budget 2022, all budgets are going to be digitally available. Parliamentarians can also digitally log their attendance using the app and citizens can check what their members of parliament are doing, what debates they are participating in and what are they saying during in uh, on the duration of the debate as well. Right? Then the former finance secretary of India Subhash Chandra Garg ji has announced his debut book The $10 10 trillion dollar dream now uh, this book is uh, scheduled to be uh, on the book stands by february 2022 and explores the critical policy issues that india is facing today v anant nageshwaran ji has been appointed as the new chief economic advisor to the government of india he is a former member of economic advisory council of the prime minister the Santhya Mangalam Tiger Reserve in Erode district of Tamil Nadu and Bardia National Park in Nepal have jointly won the prestigious TX2 awards for 2022 for doubling their tiger population since 2010. Now, Satya Mangala was designed as a tiger reserve in 2013. The population of tigers increased from 25, which was at that time it was formed, that is in 2011, to 80, which is now. So, more than you can say double. Similarly, in Bardia National Park, it has increased, increased almost five times. So, from 20 tigers, it has got to 87 tigers in 2018. Ministry of Textiles extended the timeline for submission of applications under the PLI scheme for textiles till February 14. It was supposed to be, the deadline was supposed to be on 31st of January. Here, PLI scheme for textiles, you need to know a bit of things like, first thing, what is the total outlay of the project? That was 10,683 crore rupees. Then second of all, when was it in operation from September 2021? It was started in September 2021 in textile sector. Incentive under the scheme is payable for a duration for what is the duration of the scheme for textile? That is five years. And the empowered group of secretaries chaired by the cabinet secretary is the one who is going to monitor the implementation of the scheme. Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India Limited, SPMCIL, have set up a new bank note printing line at the currency note press in Nashik and bank note press in Devas. So, uh, SPMCIL is a government of India owned mini Ratna company engaged in manufacturing and production of banknote, security paper and currency. Here uh, in India, we have four printing press for printing and supply of banknotes. So, for banknotes, for banknotes, we have a total of four printing press in India. Which are those four printing press? One we have already seen that is in Devas in Nashik. Then we have the Devas in Madhya Pradesh, then Nasik in Maharashtra and both of them are owned by SMPCIL. Then Salboni in West Bengal, <coughs> excuse me, Salboni which is in West Bengal and Mysore in Karnataka. These are the four banknote printing press in India and out of them uh, Salboni is owned by Bharatiya Reserve Banknote Mudran Private Limited. 
पेटीएम मनी हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इंडियाज फर्स्ट इंटेलिजेंट मैसेजर कॉल्ड पॉप्स Pops is going to allow its user to receive specific information related to their stocks, analysis about the portfolio, market news, important market movements, and everything is going to be available on the single platform. Tata Group has chosen State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, and HDFC Bank as the preferred bankers for Air India. Air India is the largest international carrier out of India. It has a market share of eighteen point six percent, and recently, after the disinvestment by the government of India, it has moved to Tata Group. IT industry body NASCOM has informed that assets under management for environmental social and governance ESG funds in India increased 2.5 times to 650 million US dollars in the financial year of 2021 on an annual basis Uh, uh, the assets under management for ESG fund was set up in 2020 under 275 million US dollars. ESG funds are those funds whose asset allocation includes shares and bonds of those companies that are evaluated based on the factors of environmental, social, and governance to assess their mm-hmm. sustainability. Social media giant Meta. has partnered with industry body FICCI to support 5 lakh women led small businesses across india meta will undertake this initiative under its she means business program in the partnership with fikis empowering the greater 50% initiative Meta will be extending support through three initiatives: Facebook Business Coach, Grow Your Business Hub, and Commerce Partners Program. Facebook Business Coach will train women through an educational chat bot on WhatsApp. Grow Your Business Hub will provide necessary information, tools, and resources to MSMEs, and Commerce Partners Program will help businesses to go digital and D two C using the technology. Initiative will create a supportive ecosystem for women and inspire them to become contributors to the. overall development of the country government of india has joined hands with the government of israel to create 150 villages of excellence in 12 states of the country to help farmers to adopt latest technology in the farm sector israel would provide technical assistance and other expertise to make agriculture a more profitable business a book with the title a little book of india celebrating 75 years of independence authored by ruskin bond was launched on 24th of january the first novel of ruskin bond is the room on the roof In tennis, world number one Ashley Barty of Australia defeated Danielle Collins to win women's single at the Australian Open 2022, and with this win, uh, Ashley Barty has become the first Australian in 44 years to win a Grand Slam title at home. India defeated China uh, to win the bronze medal at the 2022 Women's Hockey Asia Cup tournament whereas Japan defeated South Korea to be the uh, gold medal winners and South Korea therefore became the silver medal winners now we all know that india was defending champion in this but now we have won the bronze medal women's uh, hockey asia cup was the 10th edition of this cup held in oman in a muscat in Oman it was organized India UAE venture capital fund worth 150 million US dollars was launched by Dr Ajay Choudhury chairman of startup committee of Fikki and HCL founder it was launched from India pavilion at Expo 2020 Dubai UAE and will generate investment and growth opportunities for startups in India as well as in UAE a book with the title a little book of india celebrating 75 years of india india's independence was written by ruskin bond recently ratan tata was honored with assam government's highest civilian honor assam baibhav by assam governor jagdish mukhi ji professor deepak chand jain lovelina borgen professor kamalendu dev krori and lakshman s dr lakshman s neel pawan buraha they were awarded with assam saurav award and manoj kumar basumatri munidra nath आगते धरिंद्रहर बोरो हेमो प्रभा डॉक्टर बसंत हजारिका नौशिक कौशिक बरुआ कौर सिंह तेरांग आकाश ज्योति नमिता कलता 
आसिफ इकबाल कल्पना बोरो बॉबी हजारिका एंड बोमिता मोमिन वर अवॉर्डेड द असम गौरव अवार्ड्स ब्रेन हेल्थ इनिशिएटिव वाज लॉन्च इन कर्नाटक इट इज द फर्स्ट ऑफ द काइंड इनिशिएटिव व्हिच विल बी जॉइंटली एग्जीक्यूटेड बाय नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ एंड न्यूरोसाइंस एंड नीति आयोग इट विल हेल्प पीपल सॉल्व देयर मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज India Naval Placement Agency has signed an MOU with IIFL Home Finance Loans. They have signed a MOU to explore the opportunities for the recruitment of naval veterans within IILF HF. Max Life Insurance Company Limited that is Max Life has entered into partnership with Policy Bazaar. They have partnered to offer Max Life Smart Secure Plus plan to customers dealing on Policy Bazaar. Ministry of Electronics and IT released vision document for electronics sector in association with ICEA Indian Cellular and Electronics Association vision is titled 300 billion US dollars sustainable sustainable electronics manufacturing and exports by 2026 this was the second volume of the document the first one was increasing india's electronics exports and share in gvcs which was in october 2021 With this, we'll be winding up this segment, and I hope this session has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video with more news events. Till then, good luck with your preparation. Have a great day ahead.